Hey guys, so here's my first video. I'm so excited to make this. What I'm going to be doing today is some of my favorite products along with my normal everyday routine. Not too much to it. It's pretty simple. It usually takes me around 20 to 25 minutes in the morning before I go to school. So without further ado, here is the video. So first off, I'm going to start by priming my face. What I use is my Pore Fessional. I just got a new makeup container, so I'm kind of still getting used to where everything is. This is the Pore Professional by Benefit. Absolutely love this. Works super nice. Basically, this is for all types of skin types, and also it just fills up your pores and makes your makeup glide on and last a lot longer all day. So I'm just going to be applying that to my T-zone. I try not to use a lot, and I used a lot this time, so I'm just going to kind of wipe off the excess product, and I'm just going to be kind of dabbing that and pushing that into my pores and my skin. And like I said, I usually just keep it on my nose, under my eyes, kind of down my cheeks, and then with the excess on my fingers, I kind of just put it all over my face, but I don't use the whole product for all over my face. Next, what I do is I'm going to conceal. I use the Amazonian 12 hour concealer by Tarte. This stuff works absolutely amazing. I use the shade Fairlight. This is what it looks like. It's just this little metal capsule with some gold. It's super pretty packaging. Absolutely love it. This is, I'm pretty sure, about $23. It's totally worth the investment. I would highly recommend it. It lasts all day. It's waterproof. I love it. So I just put this all over my red spots. And I do use a bit of this. This is my... I have a hair in my mouth. Lovely. This is my second bottle of it. And basically, you can just pack this on as much as you want, as much as comfortable for you. And what I do is, some people can use a beauty blender or a brush. I enjoy using my finger just because the heat of my fingers just, I feel like, gets it in better. But that's just my preference. It really doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. So, once I have this all into my skin and you can see that you know most of the redness is away most of all so this is also full coverage which is another reason why I like it so much next I'm gonna be putting on my foundation the two foundations that I'm using right now is the Urban Decay All Nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation it comes in this metallic packaging right here. It is so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. Also a pump, so I love pumps because it's a lot more healthier for your skin and doesn't contain a lot of bacteria because it kind of cuts off the foundation right at the pump. The second foundation I use is the, excuse this pronunciation because it's not going to be right, Vita Lumiere Fluid Detent Hydrate, Hydratant something. It's by Chanel. Cannot read that very well, but you can see that right here. That is what it is. So the Urban Decay, I use shade 0 0.5. I believe this is the lightest shade. I am super pale. I also got kind of a darker shade than my skin tone. This is in 20 Claire, the Chanel. What I do is I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I just use this as a palette to mix these two foundations to match my skin tone. I do two pumps of the Chanel foundation and then I do one pump of the Urban Decay foundation. Please don't mind that in the background. It's JD trying to get in my room. So what I do is I take just a small like eyeshadow brush or whatever and I take these two right here and I literally just mix these two up like a little potion. My little potion of foundation and 
basically the Urban Decay is too light for my skin and the Chanel is too dark so I just mix the two. I also don't really like the Chanel alone nor do I like the Urban Decay alone but mixed together I love the finish so that is also another reason why I do that. I mix them. Next what I do is I take my foundation brush and this is my foundation brush. This is by Eco Tools, and I just take this and I dip it in my foundation and I literally paint it like you're painting a house. Paint it all over your skin, just like so. Like that. Taking my lovely beauty blender, don't know what I would do without this. And just dabbing that all into your skin. I love using a beauty blender. Does anybody else? I think it is so fun. I get so excited to use my beauty blender every single morning. This also goes a long way, in my opinion, when you use the foundation brush to paint it on your face. I just think that it doesn't use a lot of products, and it gives you an even apply when you go in with your beauty blender. I've always done it like this, and I just love it. Okay, so there's that side of my face. going to be applying it to the other side. Also, this foundation is so thick and like long wearing and it's such a good coverage. I would highly, highly recommend it. The Chanel was $64 and the Urban Decay, I believe, was, oh, I want to say around $42, i am pretty sure. But if I'd have to pick... Like, if you don't want to buy both and you just want to buy one, I'd recommend the Urban Decay over the Chanel. Just because the Urban Decay has a lot better coverage. The only thing I didn't really like about the Urban Decay alone was that it was super matte and kind of looked cakey alone. The Chanel gives it kind of a dewy finish versus, like, dewy and matte at the same time. And I'm more of a dewy person rather than, like, super, super matte. That's just not my favorite thing but it's okay I guess so now that we have that all stippled in our face I just take the excess and I just wipe it off with the tissue and then just throw that out no biggie I just got my first latte today. It's so good. I got hazelnut. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal once again. But this is highlighting slash concealing. I use the Tarte Shape Tape. This is absolutely amazing. I would not recommend any other highlight slash concealer. The applicator is huge. It is absolutely huge. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. The formula is so thick and long wearing. The best coverage ever. I absolutely love it. This is $23. I use the shade Fair. Basically all the shades I'm going to be using is the fairest of them all. So I just kind of run that. And then I put that down my nose. On my middle of my forehead and under my eyes. Another really good concealer, if you're looking for a really affordable, is by Maybelline, and that's their long wearing concealer. Pretty sure it's around 10 bucks, but I've heard so many good things. I actually used to use it, and it works really, really well, but I've really never heard anybody complain about that concealer. A lot of the 
beauty bloggers that I watch, they also recommend that concealer. So if you want to try an affordable concealer and you don't really want to spend the money, I'd highly recommend trying that one out. The only thing about drugstore things is you can't really test the shades. So you'll kind of have to take a whack at it. But in my opinion, concealers aren't that hard to find a shade. Not like foundation anyways. Because it's not like you really have to get an identical shade to your skin tone. You just kind of have to get like a lower or darker color. So now that that is all blended in, I'm going to go in with my setting translucent powder. This is by Laura Mercier. I use the Secret Brightening Powder. This is the Secret Brightening Powder right here, as you can see. And I think this is $24, and you don't... You get enough. You get 4 grams. I always hear, like, beauty bloggers say the ounces and stuff, and I am so bad with that, so I'm always like, um... Yeah, that doesn't really help me out a lot. But it's no big deal. I left some of my brushes that I use in my makeup bag from when I was in New York the other day. It was super fun. Kind of scared some of the times. Right after we got out of Trump Tower, it literally got shut down because they thought there was like a bomb in a bag. But it turned out to just be some children's toys. So I just put this right under my eyes to set that. I don't really bake. I think I've baked literally one time. I don't have time to bake. But if I'm ever going to an event that I'm going to need that high maintenance of makeup, I'll be sure to bake. So I always open my mouth whenever I do this. It's so annoying. I think everybody does that. Everybody has a tendency of just like, oh, but... I try not to use a lot on my forehead. I really don't like using any type of powders. It really bothers me because I feel like it just looks super cakey, but it does. I can see that it doesn't look cakey, but in my mind, I'm like, every time I put powder on my face, I just think that it's going to look really powdery and cakey, but it doesn't, so we're safe. Next, we are going to be contouring one of my favorite parts. I just got this Hoola by Benefit bronzer. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. I love the color of this. It's such like cool undertones and it kind of has like some gray undertones as well. And the way it just like makes your face contour and just everything about it, I absolutely adore it. But I just want to let you guys know this stuff goes such a long way. Literally, like, one dab is all you need in here. And it just goes such a long way because I don't know why it's so pigmented, but... See? I'm not complaining. Look at that pigment. You couldn't ask for more. I just go on the sides of my cheeks... And I go above my forehead here. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so now we're just going to blend in. The brush I use to blend is the... I've had this brush for, I kid you not, over a year. And it has been through a beating. But I refuse to get a new one. Number one, I just never think of it. And number two, I just can't get rid of this one because I love the brush so much. Elf brushes are literally so affordable. And if you get the right ones, they're amazing. So this is just the... It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is just the Elf bronzing brush. I'm pretty sure. Or the powder brush. But I'm pretty sure this was $6. Maybe even like less. I'm not sure. So I just blend that in like that. Does anybody else have a lot of trouble whenever they're doing their foundation and bronzer and stuff on 
getting the makeup in their hair it's so annoying if anybody has any like really good tips on how to prevent that please comment and give me some tips because it's very annoying having foundation and powder in the roots of your hair so now that we're done um bronzing and contouring we are going to go into blush blush i use milani and this is 11 blossom mite rose i think these are just absolutely beautiful for the price i'm pretty sure they're like eight dollars the pigment's beautiful the lay on the skin is beautiful everything about it is just amazing i'm pretty sure there's about five different colors i've really never heard a complaint about these I tend, the only bad thing I have to say is you kind of have to like dig in it in order to like get a lot of pigment, but I don't really complain because you don't use a lot of the product anyways. Mm -hmm. And then you just perk up your cheeks. And I carry blush up into my temple because I don't like it just on my cheeks and when I think like I want some warm up warmth up into my temple just because I think that's where you want some warmth just like that okay and the moment you've all been waiting for highlight Okay, I'm so excited about this because I just picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the ultimate glow, and this is metallic powder highlighters for intense luminosity. So I am extremely excited to crack into this. I literally just opened it, have not swatched anything. Taking off the mirror plastic. These colors, can we just take a moment, please? Like, oh my god they're beautiful so the from left to right on the top is snow white sand golden dawn and then bottom left to right is sun ray amber gold and hot sand so here's like snow and sun ray and then from the other side so I'm probably gonna mix white sand and snow just because they're the two lightest shades but I kind of want to play around and maybe like bronze up some contour I don't know so what I use is this right here you can probably see all that powder coming out but it's just highlight what I do is I take my MAC um, prep and prime fix plus spray and I just spray that a couple of times I dip this into the highlighter and you don't have to put the prime plus on it or the fix plus spray on it you really don't that's just if you want like a lot of highlight like really really intense highlight so I don't know like how much I'm supposed to use of this I feel like I'm gonna use way too much because this is gonna be crazy but oh, I was wrong it's kind of faint we'll really dig into it now oh my lord can we see that? Are we seeing that highlight? I hope we are because it is a nice. Oh, oh my. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is like diamonds on my face. That is what I live for. So, we are going to just dip back in. This is freaking gorgeous. Like, are we seeing this highlight? It is like somebody is painting freaking sparkles upon my face and anybody who knows me knows I live for sparkles okay so that is on our nose I just can't get over that it's so pretty and then we're gonna go over our cupid's bow okay so the highlighting is complete for now I usually go over the arches of my eyes as well I heard from a lot of people because I always read up one of reviews <clears throat> and I also watch a ton of videos on this 
on any product basically before I buy it just to see what it's like and a lot of people say that when you're really fair skin tone kind of like me and you really guide towards these two shades they said use the other ones as eyeshadows and I didn't really think of that but I'm definitely going to try that it would be so pretty for like a bronze look so definitely going to try that out now we're moving on to the eyes and I'm so excited to move on to the eyes because I just got a couple of new palettes for Christmas that I'm so excited about including the burgundy palette by Kylie can we like just take a minute like these colors right here insane just insane they're freaking gorgeous oh my gosh okay so we are going to start off by priming our eyes. The eye primer that I use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just the regular. Got this on sale for $8. Pretty sure they're uh, originally like $20. Yeah, so I got these. I was on the Urban Decay website and they were having a sale for some reason on this. Eight bucks. So I could not pass that up. So we're just going to prime our eyelids. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just pat that on your eyeballs. And, excuse my reach, we're grabbing tape. So, has anybody used tape on their face for makeup? Pretty sure you have. If you're not familiar with this, though, let me tell you that you need to invest in some scotch tape for your eyeballs because it's amazing. So what I do is I just run this on my, I like put it on a piece of skin, kind of, or not skin, a piece of your clothing just because you don't want it too st sticky. And then I go up under the eyeball like so. and just put it on the skin now we're moving on to our eyes so what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna start with LA this color right here beautiful beautiful copper color it's just amazing I'm gonna use this as my base shade and Put this all over the eyelid and these colors are literally so pigmented and beautiful it's like amazing wow that looks super crazy right so we are going to next take our blending brush by the way these are Sigma. This is the Blending E25, and this is Taper Blending E40. This is, like, my love. We are going to now be taking Beach, which is just this kind of tan color right here, and we're just going to put this in the crease and blend all of that. Because we don't want a lot of crazy stuff going on. Most of my eye looks have to do with these colors mainly because I have hazel eyes and that's what complements my eyes more. Bronzes tend to bring out hazel eyes super, super nice. So that is usually the looks I do on my eyes. Next, I'm going to be taking the Kylie... She didn't say any of the, um, like what any of them are called, I don't think, but this is the Kylie brush. And I'm going to be taking burgundy, which is in the center, and it's just a burgundy. And I'm going to be putting this right in the crease. My eye, I guess I should probably like zoom you guys up on my eyes. I'm putting that right in there. 
center, or not in the center, the crease. And I'm going to just take that E40 by Sigma. Sigma, yeah, no, Sigma. And apply that to the inner. I can't speak. Apply that to the outer crease. And bring it inward. And that's just going to really smoke it out. I absolutely love these colors with each other. It's just amazing. So now, by the way, burgundy out of all the colors probably is the most powdery, but I actually like that. But for someone who really, really doesn't like powdery, powdery eyeshadows might not be your fave, but that's fine. So now I'm just going to be taking the first shade in her palette naked right here and I'm going to be just taking that up along here right along the brow bone and then lastly I'm going to be taking this other Kylie brush and I'm going to go back into the Anastasia Globe palette and I think I'm gonna go for white sand so I'm gonna spray that and just these aren't very pigmented what the crap I don't know what's going on but oh my light is blinking for some reason Not sure why it was doing that. So there is the eye look. Now for the final. Oh my god, like look at that. I can't. So that is uh, that eye look. So I'm just going to quickly do this eye look. And then we will get to our mascara, and we'll be done. Oh wait, no, I can't forget the eyebrows. Most important part, what am I thinking? So this is the finishing look. I'm so happy with how it came out, as you can see. the highlight and everything super super nice so this is the finishing look i had to make another video because my camera died so thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe and like my video and comment below on any other videos you'd like to see and i'll make sure to make them soon thanks guys see ya